Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to be trying this handmade Stromboli Supreme flavor. This is a Mama Cozy's, which is an Aldi brand. We bought it at Aldi for $2.99. And it looks pretty good. It kind of looks like a, a Hot Pocket, but I think it's a little just a little different. Uh, there's one sandwich per pack. It has pepperoni, Italian sausage, mozzarella cheese, Italian sausage, mozzarella cheese, red peppers, green peppers, onions wrapped in dough. I tell you what, a comma makes a big difference. Um, this is 720 calories if you eat the whole thing, but I think the whole package is literally the size of it. And there's your other information for you. So you can do, um, this has been, it was in their freezer originally, so from frozen, there's the oven directions. Um, from the In the microwave though, you can do it thawed, and um, I'll show you here in just a second, hold on. Um, so we're gonna remove the product from the, back, the box, leave the film bag on, um, puncture the film to vent, place some Stromboli on the center of the microwave and sitting in high, microwave on high setting, boy I cannot read today, for two and a half minutes, but that's if it's frozen. And then it says remove from bag. If it's thawed, you're only gonna cook it for a minute and 45 seconds. I have found that sandwiches like this work better most of the time if they're thawed. So, um, so I thawed it out in the refrigerator just overnight. I just stuck it in the refrigerator. So there it is. So I'm just going to open the side to vent um, and get it in the microwave and I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. It really doesn't look much different, but there it is. The cheese is a little meltier. I cut it in half and let it cool off, but also to show you what it looks like inside. You get plenty of fussy peppers and onions and pepperoni. Um, don't see any sausage in that particular cut, but it might be. So I'm going to let this set. I'll probably cut it into a few smaller pieces. But uh, I'll also let it set to cool off for a minute. I'll be back when it's cooled off. Hey, I gave it just a minute to cool off. I did notice, let me see if I can find that piece again. I mean, look, how, look how much bread's in the bottom of that. It's very doughy on the bottom. It's just not much. This was like the second slice from the end. And this is how big the end was. So, I mean, it's not like it was right on the end. It was just, it was close, but it wasn't there. Um, so I'm gonna try, that's kind of doughy too. They're kind of doughy on the bottom. Very thick bread. I'm going to try this piece. Right out of the middle. The bottom is super doughy. It's like a, almost like a wet bread. It's, it's too much, truth be told. I like the flavors of the peppers and onions. I really get a, a, a really strong green pepper and onion flavor. I had a little bit of spice from the uh, from the sausage. Um, I like the sausage. I like the pepper and onion flavor. Let me see if I can get a pepperoni in a bite somewhere, anywhere. The pepperoni is pretty good too. My biggest concern, or my biggest complaint really, is the bread. It's very, very doughy on the bottom. They made it way too thick um, on the bottom side. They, like when they folded it. Now see, this side doesn't look as bad, but um, that end looked really, well, they, see they folded it over right here. I think that's where my thickness is coming from. I don't know, because that one, the other one I got wasn't in from the very end like that, but this one, this one is. Anyway, if they're thinner, they're not bad. If it's that thicker part, it's really doughy. Hmm. That one was really good and full of cheese. So I think if you ate just the center part of it and you just left the ends off and played, I think you'd like it better. I do like the flavors, the seasonings. It's got a little spice to it, like burn your throat a little bit spicy. Um, not like flaming Hot Cheetos or something like that. They're not quite that bad. But they do have some, some heat back in the back of your throat. Um, I like the spices in the pepperoni and the sausage. I like the cheese. I really like that pepper and onion flavor. I like most of it. I just don't like the bread. It's too bready uh, for me. You know what? 
I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I'm just gonna give it the middle because the bread is so doughy. Again, if you get in the middle, it's really good. But if you get anywhere outside of the middle, it's really thick on the bottom and it's too, it's just too wet and doughy for me. So I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Definitely worth trying out if you have an Aldi in your area. Three bucks is not much and it's a pretty good size sandwich. So, um, so I think it'll fill you up really, really well. Just, uh, just know that that bread might be a little doughy on the ends. Beyond that, I'm gonna give it a three. I think the, the flavors are average. The flavors are actually closer to where I'd give a four, but the bread kind of brings it back. So I'm gonna stick with a three. I think that's fair. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.